Deborah Pat Biography, Age, Husband, Family, Contact Details, Awards, and Career. Deborah Pat Biography. Deborah Pato was born on 13 July 1964 in South Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. She is a South African broadcast journalist and television producer. Her father was Italian and had emigrated to Zimbabwe as a railway employee. Her father was from Rome, Italy and she lived there for a while when she was young. Her Italian family is originally from Prior Emeri in Calabria. When her father died, Pater and her sister inherited a hotel in Rome and holiday apartments in the south of Italy. She moved to South Africa with her mother, a nurse and devout Catholic, and her sister in 1976 after her parents divorced. She attended Rustenburg School for Girls and the Rondivish suburb of Cape Town, where she matriculated in 1981. In 1984, she graduated from the University of Cape Town, where she obtained a Bachelor of Social Sciences. She briefly taught aerobics while at university. Deborah had a career. After graduating from the university, she worked as a political activist teaching literacy in Cape Town's squatter camps until 1990, when she started working as a freelance reporter for the BBC. In 1990 she joined Radio 702 in Johannesburg as a reporter. In 1994 she became the news editor and special assignments editor in 1997. The first news story she worked on that was aired on Radio 702 was about the return of ANC leader Oliver Tambo from exile in December 1990. In 1997 and 1998, while working as news and special assignments editor for Radio 702 and its sister station Cape Talk, she investigated and reported on the 1986 plane crash in which Mozambican President Samora Machel was killed. She received several threatening phone calls during the investigation. In June 1998 she participated in a post-apartheid Truth and Reconciliation Commission special hearing, providing expert opinion and assisting with questioning regarding the 1987 Helderberg plane crash and the Machel plane crash. She was later interviewed for a 2008 Mayday air crash investigation or air and emergency documentary on the Helderberg plane crash. She was appointed editor-in-chief of ETV News in 2005, and resigned in 2009. She worked as news and special assignments editor for Radio 702 and its sister station Cape Talk. In October 2013, she returned to Radio 702 as a stand-in talk radio host. Television. She has worked for ETV since its inception in 1998. She started as a senior correspondent in Johannesburg, and was subsequently appointed chief anchor of E.TV News. From 2000 to 2013 she was the executive producer and anchor of the weekly current affairs television program Third Degree, a show conceptualized by her which focused on hard-hitting interviews. The final episode of Third Degree aired on 14 May 2013. She has reported on major international stories such as the September 11 attacks and the death of Princess Diana, and has interviewed many notable individuals including Shimon Peres, Oprah Winfrey, Nelson Mandela, Gay Bombiki, Jacob Zuma, Cyril Ramaphosa, Julius Malema, Eugene Terriblanche and Robert McBride. She was appointed editor-in-chief of E.TV News in 2005. In 2009 she resigned her position as editor-in-chief, to follow her passion for journalism and focus on third degree. She played a key role in the launch of South Africa's first 24-hour news channel and news channel Africa anchor by E. TV in 2008. In 2012 a puppet version of Pata voiced by Nicky Jackman was cast as co-host of the satirical television news program Zan News. On 7 May 2013, E.T.V. and Enker announced that Deborah Pata had resigned to pursue other interests as a freelancer for international news companies. Following her departure from E.T.V., she began working as a foreign correspondent for CBS News. Deborah Pata Awards 1992 South African Checkers Journalist of the Year 2004 Vodacom Journalist of the Year Gorting Region 2004. MTN 10 Most Remarkable Women in Media. 2007. Simmons Play Journalist Achiever of the Year. 2009. Vodacom Women in the Media. 
2010, CEO Magazine South Africa's Most Influential Women in Business and Government. 2010, she received a Tricolor Globe Award from the Italian Women in the World Association which recognizes outstanding achievers of Italian origin abroad. 2015, she was part of the CBS News team nominated to receive an Emmy Award for their coverage of the Ebola virus epidemic in West Africa. Deborah Patterage. She was born on 13 July 1964 in Zimbabwe, where her Italian father had emigrated as a railway employee. Deborah Patter Publications. Baby Michaela Colon. The Inside Story of South Africa's Most Famous Abduction Case. Co authored by and Mags and Deborah Patter. Sandton, Zebra Press, 1996. One Step Behind Mandela Colon, The Story of Rory Stain, Nelson Mandela's Chief Bodyguard. Co authored by Rory Stain and Deborah Patter. Ravonia, Zebra Press, 2000. Deborah Patter Husband. In January 1996, she married Mwili Mzizi, a black filmmaker and Zulu Lu Prince, but in April 2002 they divorced. In June 2003, she married businessman Lance Levitas. Deborah Patter family. She has two daughters, one from each marriage. Her elder daughter Chiara Mzizi has worked as a presenter for Yacht, a youth entertainment show broadcast by SABC1.